Who am I? What a tough, yet seemingly simple question. What am I good at? What makes me unique? Who would have guessed that questions commonly asked during school icebreakers are simultaneously those that can be pondered for a lifetime? We have been asked those questions every school year. However, their weight remains heavy on my back. A burden I cannot carry. It's difficult to define yourself especially when your state of mind is rather blurry. Day by day, I scramble, yearning to discover myself. What's my personality type? Preferred clothing style? Favorite game? The list goes on, and on, and on. Nonetheless, all of my queries integrate into the same, big, imperative question. Who am I? And I'm determined to find the answer. The rude awakening of blurred self-definition is exhausting to experience. However, I pack my bag for a treacherous journey. Although it is one I am willing to take, it is just as frightening as it is rewarding. I often think about how it's quite easy to come up with adjectives to describe other people's personalities and actions. Yet, it's a struggle to figure out which attributes reside within myself, despite the fact that I should know who I am after all this time in my own body. I feel that because I don't fully understand who I am, conflict surrounding self-image arises. It's hard to admit that when my image of definition becomes unclear, I can tend to portray myself differently without intention. Although I don't mean to, I put up a facade of qualities and personality traits that I want, instead of characteristics that I may naturally possess. I thought it would sustain my image until I noticed myself losing focus of who I really am at heart. My slight alterations of character give me security, but envelop my conception of myself with a false identity. Do they represent me? Must I change in order to be my best self? Is that who I am? I'm not so sure anymore. Do these numbers define me? Do these letters? These words? Do my peers? Or absolutely nothing at all? I finally realized I'd had the answer all along. A sweet sense of self-revelation I am beyond eager to discover, yet 
somewhat fearful of the answers I will have to accept and understand. In the end, it's not my talents, supposed personality type, the people around me, or societal views and expectations that define me. Ultimately, I define myself. It's all clear to me now. Maybe who I am is composed outside of the definitive box confined by my own self-expectations. I don't have to change, I just have to let myself be. In other words, perhaps, in order to obtain authenticity, I must remain undefined.